Hey there, in today's lesson we're going to explore clipart and how it can be used in vCarve Pro to create 3D models. Now, let's open up vCarve Pro and start a new job. If we wanted to do some 3D work in this job, we would go over to the Modeling tab. While there aren't too many tools available for 3D modeling within vCarve Pro, you can import external 3D models. But another great feature is the Clip Art tab. When you click on it, the Clip Art Library Browser will appear, and you will see some preloaded Clip Art organized in different categories, such as animals, objects, and so on. You can scroll through all the models using the slider bar on the right, and when you find the one you want to use, double-click on it, and it will appear in your job space. You can also click, drag and drop the clip art to the center of your job space, or right-click on the clip art to import it to a specific level. To see the 3D view, split the window vertically using the button at the top. You'll see your 2D tab on the left and your 3D tab on the right. You can rotate and move your views around in the 3D tab. Almost anything you can do on the 2D side can be done in the 3D side as well. VCarve Pro comes with a lot of clip art options to choose from, but if you happen to have Aspire, you'll have even more options. Just like VCarve Pro, Aspire also has a clip art tab where you can find and select 3D models. One thing to note is that these models are not downloaded onto your computer by default, but they are available for free to use with the Vectric software you purchased. You must be connected to the internet and logged into your Vectric account to use some of these models.
That's it for today's lesson on clip art in vCarve Pro. I hope you found this helpful.